Alright, so we're up to cleaning up the second part of the cemetery. My internet is extremely shitty and it is extremely infuriating and I'm trying to like make commentaries at the same time and extremely angry at my internet. Which really sucks, but oh well, what can you do about crappy internet? Just me. Australian internet is really bad, but that's just oh we got new people we here. A stench. <laughs> Kill him! He's on the ground. Oh, good so much poison. So much. Gotta get this guy. There he is. Oh, let's. What's that? There's so many of them. There's not that many. There's only three. I exaggerate. I exaggerate. Or maybe there's two. Or yelling him. But yeah, Australian internet is so bad. And I can barely upload a single video, which really sucks because my videos are all like really, really large. So, yeah. Oh well. Not much I can do about that, apart from running around like a lunatic so I get my health back. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe we gotta go down that way. I'm losing a lot of health, can't get hit by poison anymore. Oh, we're good. There's more and more that keep on spawning. No. That's no good. Alright. Oh, that was close. Thank you that the dead guys are so slow. So I can run away. Oh, pop that. Pop that. Each and every one of you. Let's, let's just get some potions, so we might be able to at least hit them somehow. Um, frost resistance. Uh, let's choose, choose fire resistance. No. Resurrects consumer with 70% health. Cure all poisoning. No, I don't really care. Oh, strength 20%. Strength 60%. That's good. Alright, strength 60%. Alright, that should do it. Alright, here we go. Yeah. Oh. I don't want to run. I gotta run. Run. With an arrow through my heart. To my shoulder, I should say. back. Oh, come on. How did you hit me? What a load of hogwash. It sounds so much like a... Oh, what's that game called? I forget what the game's called. Um, Plants vs. Zombies, that's what. That's the one. They probably imported the, uh, the sounds from that. I wouldn't be surprised. That would be pretty funny though if they did that. But obviously, I don't, don't think they did. But it's pretty interesting how they get like the zombie sounds and things like that in the games. Okay, let's get this guy finally. He's so there we go. Yeah, we're gonna start to, like actually uh, extra health. I mean, extra strength. Or oh, run, run, run. Uh, let's choose F6. Now we should have done F6, F4. Yeah, a lot of health. We started off at like 40 of those health things and then we're down at like 20. Yeah. Can you stop doing that? Yeah. Did you die finally? I love the block, the um, anti block thing. Oh wow, we're so much. So much. Um, freaking, freaking, freaking poison. Alright. That should bring us back to a good amount. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just do that. Wait until they come. 
Hit one. Go three. Oh, that's a good idea. So it sucks because like you had to be level 42 or something. No, you had to be no level 43. Sorry, because I was level 40 and I finished the game. I did like, almost every mission, and you still had to be a higher level. I have no idea how you'd have to do that. Anyway, three guys left finally. We got one point C for school saying. Proceed to the third area of the cemetery. I don't think so. I don't think better so. Better be worth it. Damn right, better be worth it. We'll just loot their bodies so we can get their crap finally. After slaying so many of them. But yeah, my internet is so hopeless lately. It's, I can't upload a single video. It struggles and I'm like phoning up my phone provider and my internet provider and they said they sent out a technician the other day to check out the phone lines but I still haven't received it well that was yesterday so haven't received any response about that yet hopefully we'll soon so I know what's happening what does this do again oh increased duration effect and that does cure all poisoning okay oh gold seal and a stench creepy hand Increases accuracy. No, I, what did I take that for? Or did I take all of them as well? I think I took everything. I'm an idiot. Alright, whatever. Here we are. Into the going into the third. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. These black guys look pretty bad. Destroy the undead. Oh, and we're lost. Okay. This reminds me so much of Fable 2. Oh wow, there's, oh, those Badagris guys are pretty easy to kill. Yeah. I, I just remembered that the, the people obviously have uh, different different um, uh, resistance to different things obviously. So maybe, 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 maybe if we do this. Here we go. Let's go to equipment. How much um, damage do our things do? That is, that's only 377 and 501. We had way more damage than that. But listening on. Let's choose one of these maces. 555. There we go. Choose that. Okay. There we go. <coughs> Oh, there we go. The stenches are obvious. Yeah. Okay. My suspicions have been have been um when I confirmed. <laughs> Say, oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. Quicker do take your health and then how about kill all poison? Here we go. Run around without weapons for a while. Get our health back. We have so much health. Actually, what I can do is actually what I should do is increase this. There we go to 70 and increase that to um hmm, effective only on humanoids. See what else Assassin skills. Don't really care. Crafting skills. Don't really need. Poison resistance. Elemental resistance. Okay. Let's increase that. Okay, there we go. All good. Oh, what the hell am I hitting? There we go. Good hit. Good hit. Lateral damage, oh yeah. Come on. Come at me. That's what I'm talking about. Only two more. No, 
kill him. He did the right animation. Ah. There we go. He's dead now. Finally. I think that was, that was the final guy. Yep. Right, here we go. Finally, finally, finally. After all that blabbering for me, we finally killed them all. I was, I was struggling as well. That's pretty hard. I was pretty close as well. Okay. I wonder what level these guys are at now. Because I was reading the, uh, obviously, the walkthrough guide for Two Worlds 2 online, but there's no walkthrough guide yet for this. Not that I've noticed. I haven't noticed anything yet. Alright, so these guys all have the same crap. There's one guy over there. I forget what he was called, actually. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, actually, we don't need that. Okay. Did I just drop something? I don't know. Whatever. So what was this? This was a master's finger. It gives all makes consumer invisible. That's very important. Okay, okay. Can we go back here? No, we shouldn't. We should. Uh, we should go here. Go there. You know what they say? The only good undead is a dead undead. That's True the one. Now than ever. That's the one. You say so. What now? We wake the dead. Oh no. The dead I just finished putting down. Get much repeat business here? No, no. We wake a special one. The one who knows where the treasure is. A man who's hidden the treasure. The cartographer. Nanook or something. He has a family tomb here. Hmm. How do you know this? The pirate told us. Pirate? What Did pirate? The part set you up? Soul of a pirate, actually. Was left here as we were, some time ago. So, how do we wake the guy? Who's we, Meatcake? Ah. You'll need oh, to no. find his tomb. And talk to it, of course. Oh, no. Of course. Any topics in particular? Avoid politics and religion, I suppose. As you usual. must say that you wish to speak to Nanook Kanga. All right, let's look for the tomb. Alright. Well, the tomb's back there. <laughs> there's not much looking for it if there's one tomb. Just saying. Wonder where this leads. Yeah. Here we go. Here's Nanook. Is there Nanook? Go ahead and ask it. Okay. Nanook? <clears throat> I want to speak with Nana Conga. Please. Pepper, please. Hello. I'm here to speak with Nana Kanga. Shit's gonna get real. Okay, that's it. I'm not making a fool of myself anymore. No, <laughs> look. Nana doesn't lay in this tomb. It looks like most of his family's here, but I can't see his name on the gravestone. Try his father, Hun Kanga. All right. But it's the last time. Then he tried twice. Han I'm here Kanga. to meet Han Kanga. Ooh. He doesn't look anything like us, does he? No, he? he doesn't. He's all dead. No. Where is he? Who comes? All oh, right. Who dares to wake me in my own tomb? I, I come seeking Nana Kanga. Huh. Good luck. If you find that ingrate, you tell him from me that he can go straight to hell. So you don't know where he is? Uh, the only times I ever knew with certainty where he was, was when he was working on his maps in his study. But most of the time, he was just off. Experiencing Antelore, Dad. Learning about the world, Father. Damn fool. Probably lies in some abandoned ruins or dungeon. How long have you been dead? Hmm, I don't know. How long have you been a dunderhead? <laughs> you think we keep track of that kind of thing? What does it matter anyway? I'm not waiting for any important deliveries here, am I? Maybe I'm not perfect. Well, yeah. I could do better. 
Doesn't sound like you two were close. Hmm. You think it's easy to be close with someone who's always away? How about you, Wanderer? Spent a lot of quality time with the folks lately? <laughs> I tried. Gods only know I tried. But how in the name of... Oh, forget it. It's not like I can do anything about it now. That study you speak of, could you tell me where it is? Hmm. Tell you? And how might I benefit from that exactly, sword schlepper? Hmm. I could light a votive candle for I, you. I could light a votive candle for you. Oh, yes. That's <laughs> what the dead yearn for. A little melted beeswax. Your mum must be proud. I'm sure she is. Could I interest you in a prayer? Oh, God's my own life. I hate when people do that. Have you ever pondered it? They come here and mumble, moan, and wail over your head when you're trying to, as they're so proud of euphemizing, rest. Half the bloody time, they hardly know themselves what exactly it is they're even praying for. <laughs> or even in the case of the particularly dim ones, to whom? Well then, is there anything the departed do want? Besides bitching and moaning and mocking the well-meaning oh, living gosh. at every opportunity, I mean. Gosh. Actually, yes, there is. Since time beyond my reckoning, my ancestors and kin have been buried here, outside the main crypt. The very slight, literally worse than death. At any rate, we have been and continue to be a fine family with long traditions, I tell you. And we belong in the crypt, alongside all the finest people. I can have you move to the crypt, simple and done. Well, that's 10 out of 10 for a proper spirit, and minus several million for clear thinking. <laughs> it's not as simple as all that, Len. The bailiff won't countenance our entombment within the crypt. What in Antelor does the bailiff have to do with this? He is... Now follow my logic closely, arrow catcher. The bailiff. He's a boss around here. Master of his domain. You can't do anything without his permission. Once I proposed just such a reinterment, and he fairly flew into a rage, and threatened to throw my entire family out of our tomb. He's a royal pain in the ass. Almost literally. Are you suggesting that I take his post? The world would be all the better place for his abrupt, conspicuous, and permanent end. His favorite place is the crypt. You can find him there, if you had a mind to. I'll see what I can do. All right, so have you now? found the bailiff? Oh, no, I have to find the bailiff. Okay, well, I think that's about gonna be the end of the episode. We can't make it too long because then obviously I have trouble freaking uploading, it's so annoying. But uh, yeah, so.